Do you remember the day he died? Oh, I sure do. I was at the airport here in uh, Nashville. We had a show in Portland, Maine on the 17th. It was the first day of the next tour. And so the show plane, if the tour originated on the East Coast, the show plane originated in L.A., picked up Burton, Ronnie Tutt, Jerry Chef, all the L.A. guys, stopped in Vegas, got the conductor Joe Gershio in the horn section and the Sweet Inspirations, and then came to Nashville and picked up uh, myself, David Briggs, Stamps Quartet and voice, and then we'd go to the gig. So we were waiting on the plane to land uh, coming from uh, L.A. It was a beautiful sunny day on the 16th. All of a sudden, this big storm, man, just like crazy, like a tornado or something. We were in a private uh, airport lounge, and uh, a bunch of these National Guard guys came into the the uh, lounge where we were to get out of the rain, and I saw one of them talking on his uh, his phone. It wasn't a cell phone. It was one of those big, long things. Mm -hmm. And I heard him say, so, Mr. Presley, what happened? And then I, I overheard that. And so my first thought was, something's happened to Vernon. And then about five seconds after that, Tom Diskin, who was the colonel's lieutenant, walked in and said, hey, guys, the tour's off. Go home. We'll call you. Didn't even tell us what happened. <coughs> wow. on, the, on the way home, on, on my car radio, I heard Elvis Presley had been found dead in his bathroom at Graceland. They didn't even tell us he had died. And my first thought was, what am I going to do? Because I'd, I'd already spent the money I was going to make. <laughs> I lived the paycheck ahead. And it's so weird, you know, two weeks before that day, I was at a restaurant with David Briggs was the other keyboard player with Elvis. I played acoustic piano, and David played the electric piano. And we had just gotten that book that Red West and Sunny West had written called Elvis, What Happened? And it told all that inside stuff about their wilder days back in the day when they were wild. Mm -hmm. And I was going, man, this is going to kill Elvis. Didn't even think how ironic that would come back to haunt me that I said that, you know. Uh, but... He he wasn't he wasn't a healthy man, so he, he he went to the bathroom and had a heart attack and died. Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip of Country Drive. To see more in the future, please hit like and subscribe.